Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another video. Blessings New Balance is finally here. We are all excited to see the changes. I'll be showing you all of the changes today and the long-awaited polymorph change, which basically transformed the meta for almost a year now. We were waiting since Blessings were launched to see what kind of changes they'll introduce to the polymorph. Um, spoiler alert is not enough in my opinion, but I want you guys to be the judge of this at the end of the video. I'll, I'll leave that at the end to, to cover Polymorph. I will say that many other blessings are, are also getting changed and I feel more and more, more confident about those being well received by you guys, by the community, rather than just the, the Polymorph. Polymorph, I think it's going to be a category in its own since it affects strictly PvP. Everything else will benefit, I think, the vast majority of players because we're getting rare blessing changes and epic blessing changes to, in my opinion, to the better. Every one of them seems to be in a way better. Some will change some specific team setups. I, I would think, but I'll explain that as we go. First things first, though, before we go into the actual blessings and the, the I'll show you the images of the before and after of the blessings. OK, I want to say something. OK, blessings will also be changed in this. So we would always be thinking, OK, do I need accuracy? Do I need resistance? Do I need HP? Do I need attack when I use this blessing on a champion? So different blessings give different stat bonus boost okay so attack hp some give crit damage some would give defense some would give strictly more hp than others now what they will change is just they'll transform every single one of the blessings give the same amount of stats so there's no question about it whether that's going to benefit your champion or not so we'll probably see this blessing as an example so the soul reap blessing also have accuracy or resistance in it comparing it to what it is right now is this going to be a nerf to the damage numbers? We don't know. We were not given this exact information, unfortunately. But we do know that this is this is what is coming alongside with the the pilot, um, with, the, with the rebalancing of the of the blessings. All right. So uh, let's get started. Let's get started with all the blessings. I just hope that it's not a complete, you know, nerf to the amount of damage you get out of your champions. Because right here, I get a, like a twenty five percent crit damage. Is that going to be removed? for you know additional accuracy or resistance being as part of the stats so um that would be kind of sad for many players out there who have good blessings on their champions and think okay i'm getting sad stat bonus um boost so we'll see when the actual patch hits on the live servers when that time comes so let's get started dark resolve is the first one epic blessing it used to be that freeze provoke and true fear would you'll have a chance to block these right with the blessings now what happens is that when an ally dies that basically will be boosting your damage instead except for poisons hp burns and bomb debuffs so it's it's a pretty cool change to this blessing it basically completely changes it this was a very defensive blessing in the past now it has been transformed to a more damage dealing one when your allies are dead when none of your allies are uh, dead this blessing becomes useless completely useless so it's very situational and very dependent on what kind of team you're running this can work on teams where you're doing um solo runs so you're having food champions together and that will be boosting your own damage by up to let's say you have a six star blessing you'll be boosting your damage from four dead allies to 20 percent boost so will that be needed i don't know but i still think it's a cool change because don't worry too much about this specific one because they they've transferred this effect the before effect to another blessing together with something else so, so that blessing becomes like a more support type blessing. Um, just saying that. Then we have emergency heal. So this is the the rare, um, the rare blessing. It used to be known as carapace. Is now it's changed to emergency heal. Basically, would receive less damage when under stun, freeze, sleep, fear, true fear, and petrification. This was very good on champions such as um, what's her name of that epic that YST loves, the one that sleeps herself. Well, that one used to solo Bommel. Now, this when this is removed, I don't think she'll be able to solo it. But look at this change. Heals this champion whenever a shield buff is placed on them. Expires, is removed, or broken by an enemy attack. So, um, this is pretty cool. Look at this. It heals a champion, and then by this percentage max HP, by up to 15% max HP when a shield is broken. There's many champions out there that provide consistent shields even small shields so imagine using that on a rare that provides you even a small shield that you happen to have the blessing for 
even the five star, the three star blessing, 6% max health heal whenever the shield is broken is just fantastic. I think this is an amazing change and very, very well, um, you know, received, I think, from, from players out there for this effect. This effect, it, it affects players who, who were benefit, benefiting before from the extra damage mitigation. So um, it will be interesting when the patch hits live because we weren't told anything about whether this will be um, that we'll get some kind of free blessing change so we can change our blessings on our champions. We weren't told anything about this. So we'll see. Um, Faultless defense now is also changed. Is the one that you would receive less damage from subsequent hits from multi-hit skills. So a triple hit attack would make you get less damage on the second and third hit. So now it becomes whenever an enemy attacks an ally under increased defense placed by this champion reflects a portion of the damage back to the attacker. So it reflects back to the attacker a portion of the damage. This is huge for Valkyrie. I would say, look at this, 15% of damage uh, reflected. It's because Valkyrie also, I believe, applies an increased defense, right? Or is it only shield and counterattack? If it's not, then it's huge for other champions that do apply um, defense and then you'll use the shield. Does Valkyrie apply shield, like uh, increased defense? I completely forgot. I, I think no. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think she applies increased defense on herself. No, it's just the shield and counter attack. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get let's get um some some thoughts behind this one. So you you're gonna be running, let's say, a clown boss setup where you're gonna have shields, you're gonna have your increased defense to get you to be more tanky, then you'll be reflecting actively 15% damage. This will open up possibilities for new teams, even for clown boss which is basically a solved area of the game in terms of content. So kind of like this change a lot comparing it to this one. This was okay for the multi multi hit mitigation, but honestly, this looks much more fun and it's a rare, rare blessing. Okay. So uh, let's carry on. Heaven cast. This is completely changed. I found some use on some champions, such as Allure on this one or, um, or other champions where your a one, you wanted it to land more. So, this is gone now. Well, uh, what do we get? We get increased the damage inflicted by this champion according to the number of buffs on them. Doesn't increase the damage from poison, HP, burn, or bomb. This is 2% per buff. So if you have 10 buffs, which is the maximum, that's a 20% damage boost. Is this stronger though as an epic blessing than other things? 2% damage for each buff. That is considering maximum amount of buffs. All right, let's have a thought on pvp for just a second because for pvp guys uh let's say you're you're receiving three or four buffs times two percent if you have a six star uh that's going to be eight percent damage boost if we compare it to this one right here which is the the one sometimes used like crushing rend used on pvp with the six star blessing you would get a six percent defense ignore on enemies that are PvP, so level 60s. For PvE, this is of course much, much better, but for PvP, it's only 6%, right? It's like having another cruel set. Will ignoring defense be better than straight up damage boost? I think no. I think straight up damage boost is better, but we will see it in action when the time comes and we're actively testing these kind of skills out. But yeah, Heaven Cast looks interesting, but I don't think it's gonna be replacing um crushing rent in in pve all right so in in dungeons and stuff where there's a very high level enemies and once you get that six star it's insane the damage boost that you have so now indomitable spirit now gets what uh dark resolve had so you have a chance to block stun sleep fear plus true fear flee freeze and provoke so this becomes a much stronger blessing on its own 30% chance on a six star now instead of 25% chance. I find this a, a very solid change. If you want to be blocking all those debuffs, there it is. And you'll have it available uh, for yourself and a 30% chance one turn cooldown. And uh, yeah, can't say anything. It's a solid buff, solid buff, solid rebalance as they want to call it, not a buff. This is a rebalancing. I call it a buff. Next one is the Iron Will uh, Epic blessing being changed decreases the damage this champion receives according 
to the number of debuffs on them doesn't decrease the damage from poison HP burn and bomb debuff so the damage from those it doesn't change but it changes the damage you receive overall so this can be beneficial for things like the spider dungeon where you are receiving lots of uh, poisons can be good for things such as the hydra where you are receiving lots of debuffs sometimes and you don't have a proper setup to cleanse them or block debuff them so a six star blessing will provide you let's say two percent time 10 debuff which never happens in the hydra 10 debuffs is a lot but at least four it, it is possible so that's like an eight percent damage decrease kind of nice is this one better than what we had before decreasing the damage this champion receives from enemy skills activated by other skills um i don't know i don't know iron will had its purposes before but it was very restrictive very niche and now it has become basically just another way to um to have more damage mitigation i don't think it's going to be used that often if i'm being honest comparing it to the other blessings we have available at the moment even rare blessings look more interesting now than this one in my opinion so lethal dose um this one is the pvp one where your poisons do damage right uh, let me find it lethal dose here's the damage on enemies received from poisons in the arena all right in the arena very very important to consider that so poisons on themselves right now are not really used in arena and we had the 100% bo um, boost to damage here on the five star blessing before nobody was using it so what happened now the 100% is on the three star blessing instead of the five star and the five star now has become 200% will that be enough although i do find that you'll be applying lots of poisons and lots of potential for damage through this one we still have the problem of polymorph which has not changed we'll still have that in mind and, and poisons doing 200% damage isn't that much of a threat in my thought okay poisons do still some good damage but because they have a flat damage instead of a percentage that they usually do they do a flat damage um, on pvp so they don't do five percent of the enemy's health um, if that was the case this would have been 15 percent of the enemy's health per poison so you could have you know even one shotted people with this but I don't think it's going to be the case. I think it's restricted to a specific amount uh, on how much damage your poisons are doing to enemies in PvP. So we'll see actually in action if, if somebody wants to try this out, maybe with Calvalax, who applies four poisons right from the start of the turns. So um, finally, Polymorph, what is your guess, guys, on the change? Leave it down below in the comments before I go over it. I think you guys uh, will agree with me that this is not enough and that this rebalancing or nerf in my eyes is not really a nerf okay so um polymorph as we had before new polymorph what did they change occurs once per enemy turn that's it when the polymorph is proked it's only going to be once per turn and that is the knowledge that we have from the developers so far but i'll give it a double check because i see some discord messages at the moment so i might have changed so nothing has changed. Uh, they didn't give us any more specification on this. So occurring once per turn. So imagine a scenario when you're going into PvP, all right? You're fighting in PvP uh, and you're thinking, okay, I want to be, uh, I want to apply some debuffs on the enemies. So what is this new change doing to Polymorph? Well, basically Polymorph will be doing its thing as it did before, okay? It will attempt to sheep you, make you a sheep, all right? Let me, let me bring in... Uh, another Madame Series or something in here, so I can I can try this out. Hopefully, she's got gear on. But what will now happen is it only occurs once per enemy turn, and I guess that's fine. So maybe we'll be running double debuffers in teams, so we have two chances to apply the debuffs. But that's not enough. Um, in in my thoughts, that's not enough because. You're still going to get cheap. You're going to still be controlled by the enemy for two turns where you completely lose all your buffs and the ability to do anything for two complete turns. And you, not only that, you drop to a speed that is very low, I believe 150 when you are a sheep. So let's see if we get sheeped here. I didn't get sheeped here, but let's see if I get sheeped here. I didn't get sheeped here. I was lucky here, if I'm being honest. But you can still see the problem uh, of polymorph. That, uh, let's say I got sheeped in this situation. 
my Kalimai would have been a sheep now, no buffs. His effect wouldn't pass through to the others because he would only attempt to sleep um, Arbiter there and then he would immediately become a sheep and then I, that would be gone. But then I would need to have a second debuffer there if I wanted to start applying all the other debuffs. What happens now in PvP is the thing we see very, very much uh, often in Live Arena, I would say, at least for me, and then for others, I would say in high-end high, high -end Platinum, is where you see a heavy, heavy, heavy um, defense on the top with champions having all of them, having Polymorph, 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 all right? You see it in every single team. These are not even teams that are proper for uh, Plat Arena, I would say. The people who actively do Live Arena um, don't set up their, their defense, their correct defense from today, from like a Tuesday. But even you see Marishka there with the Polymorph, Sifi there with the Polymorph. This guy has eight wins. Polymorph, Polymorph, two Polymorphs here. Um, two Polymorphs here. Polymorph, you see how frequently it is used. This team here has three Polymorphs. So is this... Is this the change that you want, um, Plarium? I think this is not what they were looking for. This will still happen. We will still get the Polymorph. And um, it's not enough. I don't think it's a correct rebalancing. In my thoughts, maybe something along the lines of having Polymorph be something that um, maybe also resets the cooldowns of that champion that you get. Also makes them keep their speed that they had before they became a sheep. So my 300 speed climber is still a 300 speed sheep. So he'll be getting his turns at, at the right order he would get before, but he'll just be useless. But at least I'll know I'll get him back to be active after a while. So maybe that can be some food for thought. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I love every single one of the blessing changes except the polymorph one. If I'm being honest, all of these will find some use out of me. And especially this one here, um, where you heal this champion whenever a shield buff placed on them expires, is removed or broken by an enemy attack. This will create lots of possibilities for champions to start soloing different parts of the game just because of the blood shield accessories. This is huge. I think this is the biggest blessing change, at least in my opinion, in terms of overall usefulness to the majority of champions out there. It's a rare blessing. Even rares can have access to it. You give it, that champion a blood shield ring. When that shield is broken, you heal back for a big chunk of health, depending on your own max health. But imagine a six-star blessing, a five-star blessing, giving you 9% health back. That is equal to almost two immortal gear pieces. And the 15% is equal to a regen piece. A regen piece. So overall, I think this is a wonderful change. And my only problem is with Polymorph. And that's it. That's it for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you all. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.